Our first speaker tonight took the oath of office as the 58th Mayor of Buffalo on December 31st, 2005. Mayor Byron Brown came into office emphasizing greater accountability and efficiency in City Hall, improving the quality of life for all city residents, and a commitment to strengthening and expanding the city's economic development. Improving quality of life and economic opportunity are also goals of the Rotary Club of Buffalo and of Rotary Clubs throughout the world. We are delighted to have his honor and Mrs. Brown with us this evening. Now, prior to his election as mayor, Mr. Brown served five years in the New York State Senate and six years as Buffalo City Councilman from the Maston District. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Byron Brown. Thank you very much, Mary Alice, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's certainly a great pleasure and privilege to be with you uh, to join in your celebration of 100 years of the Rotary Club of Buffalo. And certainly, as mayor of Buffalo, I am very pleased to uh, thank you and honor you for uh, your service past, uh, your service present, and certainly the service that the club will render in the future. I was uh, telling uh, Charles Martirana, your current president, uh, whose term I know expires in, in June, uh, that I had the opportunity when I was much younger to take a trip through uh, District uh, 7090. Uh, it was one of the group study exchanges for young business professionals. And at that time, I was a young business professional. It, it speaks to, um, it speaks to uh, the kind of opportunities that you provide uh, to uh, people of all ages uh, to learn, to grow, and, and to serve. It also speaks to the kind of angel my wife is. We had not been married uh, too long at, at that time. Uh, we were expecting our first child uh, when I was selected for the group study exchange. And she said, honey, I think this will be a great learning opportunity for you. And she allowed me to go on this trip back in 1989 for an entire month to Central America. Um, I also want to uh, thank you for the work that you've done in downtown Buffalo, certainly with Rotary Rink. Uh, and with the uh, window displays at AM&As, uh, I have heard from so many uh, people who had tremendous enjoyment uh, from being able to see the windows and, and the activity. Uh, it's amazing how many people throughout Buffalo and Western New York uh, remember the wonderful window displays that AM&As used to do, uh, and Rotary, through your service, you brought uh, the windows at AM&As back to life, so thank you for that as well. Uh, your international president is here, and certainly, as mayor of Buffalo, I want to welcome uh, Mr. Clinging uh, Smith to the city of Buffalo. Uh, he had quite an adventure uh, getting to our community. Uh, I won't spoil the story. I will let you tell, I will let him tell you about the adventure that he had. Uh, but certainly in honor uh, of his service um, internationally, I have a proclamation. I'm not going to read all of it, just a portion of it. Whereas Ray Clinging Smith, president of Rotary International, was, will visit Buffalo, New York on April 28, 2011 to celebrate the Rotary Club of Buffalo's 100 years of service to the Western New York community. And whereas Ray Clinging Smith took office as president of Rotary International on July 1, 2010 and leads a global network of 1.2 million business and professional leaders who through volunteer service hope to meet the needs of communities worldwide. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Byron W. Brown, Mayor of the City of Buffalo, do hereby proclaim April 28, 2011, as Ray Clinging Smith Day in the City of Buffalo. Mr. Clinging Smith, thank you for being with us.
Thank you, Mr. Brown, and thank you for sharing that anecdote about your Rotary past. It's good to know we have a friend in City Hall.